Last week, I tried my hand at updating the legendary Mario Kart Wii version of Delfino Square from Mario Kart DS. I was able to make some pretty good improvements, updating some textures, turning the forest into a park, and replacing the trees. This week, I want to build on what I've done. First off, I've got to get rid of that park and delete those trees. You guys let me know that these trees look awful, and now that I think about it, these are significantly more ugly than what was already here. And while the park is pretty cool, I think I'm going to try and do that updated forest at some point. But before that, I need to think about replacing those awful trees with something a little closer to the original. See, last week, I spent too much time trying to make the track look realistic, focusing on removing the stylization of everything, which is how we ended up with Chernobyl Square. So this time, I'm going to get the these trees right, and also see what I can't do about the buildings, since they still look fairly outdated. I searched around some Mario Kart 8 tracks for some better trees, and kept an eye out for things I could use to make the buildings look better. Eventually I stumbled upon some pretty good looking trees in Shroom Ridge from the Booster Course Pass. Once I get textures on these, they should look pretty good. And boom, they look terrible. This tree is good, and this texture is good, but this isn't quite working yet. So I updated the bark, and worked on the leaf some more. I started off by recoloring them in Photoshop, by first applying a, well, a color color overlay of yellow, and an overlay color overlay of white to make it a bit brighter. This is still missing some depth. It just looks like a shape with a texture on it, not really a tree. I thought it might have been the way that the material tiles, so I tried using a different material, which actually did look slightly better. I went ahead and updated the other two trees to this point. I thought maybe by accentuating the geometry a bit, they might look better, but that didn't really help. And this new texture looks like vomit on shag carpet, so I went back to Photoshop and tried combining both textures. And no, this is not very good. So I went back to the original leaf texture and tried to make it tile a little better by getting rid of these dark areas and instead having that other texture lie in the background. So I kind of did merge the two textures. And you know what? Maybe this is good enough. So I went ahead and placed these maybe good enough trees around and took a break from the whole tree nonsense. I decided to try and make the water look a bit more blue and colorful, which I like. Alright, now back to the trees. I need to figure out what's wrong with these. Let's check back in Animal Crossing Autumn. Looking closer at the trees here, I'm starting to realize something that could be seriously helpful. They all have a layer of leaves on top of the base tree. This might be just what I need to make these trees not look like inflatables. At first, I tried using this texture on a plane and a shrink wrap modifier to wrap it over the tree, but this wasn't really working, so I tried starting with a shape that was already Already similar to the tree. And now that it's all set up, this is exactly what I needed. Well, now it looks like I've gone and re-outdated the trees, so I'll go around replacing those again. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'm gonna see what can be done about these buildings. I started off just messing around with some ideas to see what might work. Eventually, I went back to looking at other tracks for ideas. I figured the current texture was beyond repair, and that I should probably just find something to replace those buildings entirely. But nothing I came across quite had the right style of architecture. It's it's a fine enough idea to replace the Delfino Square buildings with ones from Toad Harbor, for example, but I'm really concerned that it'll make the track much less recognizable. Plus, doing something like that could very well take several days on its own to get right, so we'll have to keep looking. I eventually wound up in 3DS Woohoo Town, where I saw some features that gave me a few ideas. The first thing I'm gonna do is replace the old clock with this new one I found in Woohoo Town. After swapping the white brick texture out for the yellow brick texture that this building uses and scaling the UV map down a bit, this looks great. Next I'm going to steal some balconies and set them up on the grey buildings. So first, I've got to delete the original low quality balconies, which luckily use a different texture than the building, so they'll be easy enough to select and get rid of. Now to get these new balconies put up. I made sure to have these two checkboxes enabled for live UV unwrapping and correct face attributes, which means when I scale the object, it'll scale the UV as well, so I can make these balconies wider or shorter to fit different buildings without stretching the texture. But do keep in mind, this isn't something you generally want to have active while rotating or moving something, since it can produce some not very nice results. But this live UV unwrapping only happens in edit mode, so you can move things around while well in object mode and not ruin your unwrapping. One thing that did kinda suck was the fact that the old balconies had these floors that actually did use the building texture, so they all got left behind when I deleted the balconies. But that just meant that I had to select them, delete them, and press F to fill the geometry between these lines. Eventually, I had made my way to each grey building, deleted those floors, and placed new balconies on them. And you know what? I think this has done a good job making these buildings feel more acceptable. They don't need to be flashy, at least not this early into this project. Right now, I'm just trying to make everything look passable, to make them look not so bad that they draw attention. Which means that these roofs need updating next, because they've been distractingly bad. 
I found replacement textures in Woohoo Town. The red one needed a little bit of recoloring, but the brown one was actually just about perfect. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong, but whenever I plug in a specular map, it's almost always unreasonably shiny. I usually have to run it through a brightness and contrast node or something to dial it down. But now that that's all figured out, this looks better. Another interesting fix was this yellow building part of the main texture. For some reason, the texture gets darker as it goes up, which looks really bad since it clashes with the actual lighting I'm trying to set up around it. So I had to neutralize this artificial lighting by selecting the top half of the texture, duplicating it, and doing a white overlay on it to brighten it up. Then I used a large eraser with low hardness and 30% opacity to blend this layer with the bottom half. Much better. But I still need something that pops out on this texture. Like, literally some kind of 3D geometry to stick onto the face of these yellow buildings. I started out trying to place some of these windows and flower boxes from Woohoo Town, but the busy texture really fought me on that. So then perhaps a less busy texture is what I need. So I got a brick texture, recolored it, and gave it a go. After setting up a few windows, this isn't gonna work. I tried retexturing the windows, but that didn't do it either. At this point, I had to throw a Hail Mary and put a bunch of balconies on these buildings as well. I made sure to retexture these balconies a bit and have them at a slightly different scale. After these are spread around, it does look a little bit better. It's just something to add depth to the buildings and cover up that slightly outdated texture. And while I was in Woohoo Town, I saw a few other things that could really spruce up the streets of Delfino Square. So I retextured a bench and got some of those set up along the sides of the road. Then I found a couple of great leaf textures in Animal Crossing Autumn and recolored them. I started putting circles of fallen leaves under the trees, which looks pretty nice, but this main road needs more leaves than that. So I started setting up this texture. I honestly don't entirely understand this texture. I've never worked with anything like it. At first I thought it was some kind of circle or radius of leaves, but it turns out if you rotate the UV map 45 degrees, you end up with a wavy line of leaves, which is absolutely perfect for this road. It took a little bit of extruding with E to contour it to the uphill road, but it was definitely worth it. Another detail to really make this place look nice is a few lamp posts. So I separated them from Woohoo Town and started getting them set up. I even put point lights in them to enable for possible nighttime renders. I still couldn't help but feel that these buildings aren't quite done yet. So I went back into Woohoo Town and took a few planter boxes to set up on the balconies of the yellow buildings. Now they're more detailed and slightly more differentiated. But that means that now I need to do something for the gray buildings. So I headed into, apparently, my new favorite map, Woohoo Town, and copied a few vines of ivy. I pasted them into Delfino Square and started separating them onto a set of presets that I can put up and modify from there. I took some care to make each building look a bit different, and have the ivy interact with the building in a way that makes sense. And there we go. It looks like that's all the time I have to work on this. I think this week has been really successful. I saved Delfino Square from those horrible trees, I made the buildings look a bit more passable, and I blew up the park and just left an empty field there because I never got around to making that forest. But I'd say this stuff is looking a lot nicer. I'm excited to move on to another area of the track, somewhere that hasn't gotten much attention, like the winding alleyways or the waterfront area. I've even got an idea for that forest, something that may or may not involve a sick shortcut through a forested park. But those are plans for another time. I hope you've enjoyed watching this, or maybe even learned something. I'll talk to you later. Thanks.